hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support really do appreciate it so we're coming back with the uh, moonlit moments um kit which is the current members free gift over at hunky jewelry so um you can have the kit and just pay for postage or you can um, buy a set for £12.99 which has the free kit, um, adorable scoreable and your inserts and papers and a little book um, and that's £12.99 I believe. So um, I always, 9 times out of 10, go for the um, £12.99 kit um, purely because it gives me those inserts which are really handy and, and I mean you could still use those as a backing paper. They're, good enough quality and certainly quick, um, thick enough to be able to um, and also the adorable scoreable I like to use similar colours that to that uh, that are in the kit to foil extra sentiments on so if there's not enough birthday wishes on there or if there's a particular sentiment I'm looking for um, then it's it's really good to have that adorable scoreable for me anyway um, but enough of that let's get on with the um, card making so today I'm going to bring in this is supposed to be a 7x7 seven seven scalloped edge card um, but when I put it up you'll see it's more like six and three quarters and the reason why I chose this is I thought the scallops on the topper went quite nicely with it so I thought I could have a little bit of fun with that so let's uh, bring in our trimmer and I'm going to need a piece of A4 gold card just because I am going to be going slightly bigger than my usual 6 inch. So let's just pop that arm out. Now I think last time I made one of these uh, or used one of these card blanks wasn't that long ago but a lot's happened since then. I think I did 6.5 by 6.5 because you can't go too close to or I don't think you can go stop that uh, you can go too close to those scallops so let's just have a little look and see see that's taking it right to the end edge and I don't like that so I'll take another quarter of an inch off so I'm going to take that to six and a quarter so it's not a lot bigger than a six by six card in terms of the actual space that you're crafting with but obviously it is going to be a bigger card um, on um, a mantelpiece or whatever okay so that's fine so let me bring in let's have a look i'm not sure whether i want to use the foiled or the um other one i'm going to use the foil so this needs to be um, two notches off that six and a quarter, so it's going to be two notches over six inches. Still got a lovely sized piece of cardstock to use there. And again, so let's just check that layers on there quite nicely. also going to do is bring in that little corner rounder that I have from Hunky Dory and we'll just let me just turn that over so it doesn't quite glare at you I'll just go around and round all the corners I just feel like when I round the corners on my toppers on these um, scallop cards they it just seems to soften that difference between a straight edge and a, a scalloped one I have got some scalloped edge dies which I could use to cut. Um, obviously, with these hunky dory ones, I try and keep them quite nice and simple. So, if people have just got the kit, they're going to be able to just go up uh, and start making straight away uh, and make exactly the same card if they want to. So, I'm doing it as a tent fold, as I said. So, this is going to go on to there. Now I'm just thinking, do I want to add a little bit of ribbon? Let me bring the top back in. Let's see which one shall we use. I think I might go with the peacock one. Let's just pop that out. Because they're both quite large toppers, these ones here. So 
um, on a six by six card. I might not get away with uh, putting all of the frames on if I wanted to. I probably won't use all of the frames, but no, that's it. So we've got this one on there. I think I'm going to put a little bit of pink ribbon across the bottom. I've got enjoy every little moment. So proud of you. Birthday wishes. I'm going to go with birthday wishes. Although, yeah, we've got a butterfly on that. I was going to say, because the peacock, usually you're as proud as a peacock, aren't you? Um, but the peacock has got a picture of a butterfly on. Okay, so pink ribbon. I've got this beautiful pink ribbon that I got from AliExpress. So let me cut a piece to size. And just need to see. There we are. Henry having a little growl. Just trying to not unravel it from the elastic band, but uh, there we go. And we can take a little bit to the ink. So the glues I'm going to be using today, they're going to be my usual glue. So I've got the Kalau All Purpose glue in this one. This has come from a 250ml bottle. And then in the smaller one here, I've got Kalau Tacky Glue, which comes in that one, uh, 100ml bottle. And both of those I got from Crafters Companion. Um, the This one, the All Purpose Glue, is very similar to the Hunky Dory one. Um, so it's worth checking which has got the cheapest sort of um, offer on whether it's Crafters Companion or whether it's Hunky Dory. I mean, obviously the benefit of buying from Hunky Dory at the moment is that you get your free festival um, bracelet, uh, wristband, whatever they call them, um, which is pretty cool. I don't usually wear anything on my hands or my arms apart from my watch. She's currently charging, um, but uh, it's nice to have something for free, isn't it? It's always nice to have like um, something with your with the company name on that you love, you know. Like uh, I know, um, quite a while ago, I'm talking a couple of years ago, they did they used to do a USB uh, with the images, and. Uh, they used to get a free gift with the USB and I think one time it was a bag. I can't remember what the other ones were. I've got a few of them, uh, these USBs. I found some the other day actually when I was obviously still sorting bits and pieces out. I'm just trying to look at this. It didn't want to leave me that red stuff. Right. Um, so I'm just going to pop that in there so it doesn't stick to my desk. Just make sure I've got the shinier side. It's double faced satin, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take it along this pink line. So I just want that line of gold coming above it. And this is going to help me. It's nice when you've got a line there to make sure you, you're getting it sort of straight. That way. So I haven't made any cards yesterday or today so far. The first one. I've been a bit headachey again, you know. Every now and then I get these migraines, and I don't know whether it's the the weather or not. But uh, I haven't really crafted. Saying that, I did did buy a couple of the Lisa Horton dies, the iris and the smile, and I was sort of using my little. Oh, it's not little. My spellbinders, Grand Caliber while I was watching Britain's Got Talent yesterday and just cutting pieces out of white card. Ready to have a little play with that when I am feeling a bit more in the zone. Okay. There we go, I think that's pretty much straight. So even as that as it is, is really nice, isn't it? Sort of nice feature on the card. Okay. 
so now we have to be a little bit careful because this inner layer is super fine let me put those scissors back in there and i'm going to move that up i'm just going to run my knife along the pips just to try and get it out without bending it just in case i do want to use it i'm not sure I think probably because this is going to take up quite a lot of space it's going to be nice to be able to see some more of that background um, plus oops the purple of the background is going to make the green here pop but I don't know if it's going to clash with the inside of the purple there so let's have should be able to just pop that out without any problems so we've got that one there and there we go so you can see how fine that is i love it when you get a fine frame like that and you can see when that was popped up it's just a bit of fluff at the top so i'll file that down in a minute okay so let's see how we want this to go so I'm thinking about putting a little bow down here. Maybe I think I'm definitely going to come across with that sentiment. But I was thinking initially to have it coming off so you've got that sort of matching into those scallops there, although they're not exactly the same um, width there. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of something going off the page. Um, but I'm thinking probably maybe be going off the page with the sentiment instead. I don't like the sentiment there. Let's pop this to the left a little. And then maybe have the bow this side and a couple of gems. Okay, so I think that looks like a plan. So let's go... What I'm going to do first of all before I do anything else and forget is just quickly give this little pips a little sound. Did you all see the new lady on Hunky Dory? Whose name I've already forgotten but please don't be offended if she happens to see this because honestly I forget my own name most days. And the dog doesn't know what his name is anymore. He doesn't know whether he's George Henry or Henry George. And sometimes he's even Pippin Henry. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, she made a beautiful card. I thought well, she did fantastically considering that was her first day and they threw her in at the deep end. She did really amazing. So I think she's going to be bringing some exciting things to the team. Be interesting to see what she brings. Always nice to see a new face, I think. Okay, so that's this. Right, so let's put some foam pads on here. And I think, if I move that out of the way a second, I am going to bring in these um, Sticks 2 ones. And I am going to have to cut them down the middle because they're going to be too wide. And the only reason I'm using these instead of the Hunky Dory ones is because I made the mistake of picking up the whole ring of them and um, it kind of fell apart so now I think probably I better use them up first but they do the job so uh, the only thing I would say is if you um, go for the, that big roll of them like I have, 4,000 pads, don't take it out of that piece of cardboard. Keep it in. Tear the um, sort of cellophane wrap thing that's on it and just turn it around in there. Keep it flat. If I hadn't have recycled the piece of card, I'd probably would try putting it back but um, 
it's going to be a no-go now. But, uh, yeah. They are good. I mean, they're, you know, they're foam pads. They're not terrible. They're they are a little harder to get off because like, they seem a little stickier. But I don't mind that. You know, it's not like you can't get them off. It's, or you've got to hold it down with one hand and do it. You know, hold it down with something and then pull it with the other hand. You don't. It's not that difficult. It's just comparing it to the Hunky Dory ones. Which is probably unfair really. But you do, don't you? You sort of, when you're used to one thing. Um, and I've only been using Hunky Dory ones for... How long have I been making videos? Three years nearly three years coming up so um yeah uh, before that i used to use a lot of glue gel cloud glue gel but it's not the best thing when you're doing videos like this because uh, you can't you need to sort of leave it to dry before you start showing it and stuff so I kind of, once I'm in the, the zone of making a card and doing a video, I kind of want to, and you kind of need to see it to the end, otherwise I'll forget about it. Oh, we've gone all blurry. Come on now. Oh, let's see if that will refocus it. There, oh, no. there we go. Sorry, I don't know why it does that sometimes. Hopefully you've not missed too much uh, of this very interesting part of crafting of taking the foam pads off. But at least you would have had my voice over. <laughs> so. Sorry about that. But it's not an uncommon thing. I see it on other people's videos as well. So it's just a technology thing. I think it's something to do like with the autofocus it sort of thinks it's got to focus on something somewhere and it's not there we go by Larry again okay, pick up that. Yeah, it might be just because I'm moving it around a lot to be fair when it's down it'll probably be better but apologies if that's uh, ruined your viewing pleasure Taking something away from your viewing pleasure. Right, let's see. Is there a right or a wrong way? No, there's a star in each corner. So I'm just going to go in. And go down. I think it's probably going to be around about right. Feels right. Excuse me, scissors. Decided I'm going to leave that really thin frame out, and uh, I've actually got quite a few frames now. Um, I've put them on the other side, so I can't show you. But there's like a wadge of them that thick, different frames, gold, silver. Well, there's more gold than anything else. Um, quite a few um, holographic or silver at the minute because there's been quite a few of that type of kit but I was trying to come up with an idea of using them um, still got the backing on there we go um, yeah so I was trying to come up with a way of using them not like um, just I mean obviously you can use them as just the frame but um Trying to find another way to use up a couple of different ones on a card. 
is so I might be trying that with the little book when I do the little book for this. Um, I usually do. Well, I've been trying to do one video with the little book because a lot of people um, struggle with them. Not struggle with them, but you know they get a bit. Um, find it a bit difficult to know what to do with them. Sometimes when you've got so much choice, your brain sits uh, shuts down, doesn't it? So I'm just putting one foam pad on the end, a little bit of glue on there so it can attach itself. Oh, I want a bit on here as well in case I need to manoeuvre that around. And I am going to come, well I was going to go down there wasn't I? Hmm, let's go, I'm going to go there. Coming over a little bit there so that's good. And then we need our little oil maker. Um, this is a very old, you can see by the state of it. It was mum's, um, it's an old Glitter Girls one. I don't know if any of you guys remember the Glitter Girls. Um, sadly, the company is still around I think. They sold the company. Um, but um, the lovely ladies are not. Although I think one of them does with her daughter, doesn't she? Um, oh, Barbara. Be Barbara. What was the other lady's name? Barbara. And... Oh, I can't remember. I'm terrible with names. Yeah, I think Barbara does something with her daughter. She, or well, she did for a while anyway. Had their own craft shop because they had a bad accident, didn't they? Travelling to the studios and then Kathy. I see them. I think Kathy was a bit frightened to travel after that, obviously, because yeah, it was quite a nasty accident. I think both of them were out of action for quite a while. Okay, so I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to pop this on. Uh, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue there. I'm just going to put it on the other side. I don't know why I've gone all on this righty side. Alright, so I'm just going to get that in position. And then I'm just going to use those reverse tweezers. I do try and put it over the knot piece in the middle because that, that seems to um, help it to glue a little faster. Um, and then I do have some gems pretty much ready. So I've got some purple ones. Oh, I've got these hot pink ones coming in with it. I might be too pink, I think. Let's see. How oh, about these purple gems? Are these too purple? Oh, I quite like that. I do quite like that. It's going to be a little straighter, maybe. Okay, so let's just do, I'm just going to do three here on this side. And we will use our sticky picky up it all. Just get those into position. There is a little bit of glue around the side but that will dry clear. And honestly, I find even with those, um, I've got some of those teeny tiny daubers, but um, I find by trying to take it away, no, that's the wrong one that goes over there, we need that anyway in a minute. Um, I, I tend to make more of a mess trying to clear it up than I do if I would just leave it alone. But that is our first card, uh, sort of a, a nice cute birthday one. I think that sentiment could be a little straighter. But, I can live with that. It's not horrible. But there you go. So that's that first one. So I'm just going to get tidied up and prepared for card number two. Okay, so for card number two, I thought I would do um, like a, an easel card, but not a full easel, sort of like a half easel. Um, so I've got a six by 12 piece of cardstock, it's 300 GSM, and I'm going to score at three and at six and then if I take my scoreboard out of the way just going to fold that over and then we're going to fold 
this one over as well. Now, if you wanted to, you could go with a reverse easel, um, but I'm just going to go with a little easel card today. And um, that's how my card is going to sit. Obviously, I'm going to need a stopper here. Uh, my image is going to come above. We're still going to fit in a six by six envelope and it's all going to look perfect. Well, it's going to look good. So um, I've got two pieces of the um, six by six mirror mat. So for this piece here, it's three by six. So I'm going to take two notches off that from my mirror mat because I like to see the white. If you don't like to see the white, then just do it three by six. So that one is going to fit onto there quite nicely. And then this one is going to go on the bottom. So we need a six by six piece. So I'm again going to take two notches off two sides. Just so that I've got probably it's worked out about uh, one sixteenth of a border all the way around. Okay. So that one should fit quite nicely into there. I'm happy with that. And then we've got a decent sized piece there. So that's going to go next to my bit, bit box there. And then we want that cardstock back. So I am going to be going with the butterfly topper. Oops. So let me just see what other toppers I've got on here quick have a little think about what else I might like to do okay so I'm going to keep this for uh, another day and this piece here I'm going to cut that down at five and three quarters because this is going to go on my bottom piece there so on this bottom of the card now, if you wanted to, you could just put the insert on there so that people can still write on it. What I will do is just put an insert um, tucked into here so when they open the card up, they'll be able to write there. Okay, so let's just check that fits nicely onto there. And I'm happy with that one. And then for the top piece, I think I'm going to... Oh, we could use that one, couldn't we? Hmm, let's see, so if I take two or three quarters of that, I'm just going to see how much I've got left over, because that's obviously a really nice, pretty, um, pretty um, peacock there. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I'm going to be fine. So this is, uh, no, it's not going to go that way. We'll have to do it with this one. Okay. So five and three quarters. I'm just going to take that little bit off. And this is for this piece here. So this needs to be two and three quarters. And I'll take it there. And then I've still got a nice size piece there that I can use. And let's have a little look. Does that fit nicely onto there? And it does. Okay. So let's just... So the only thing that's bugging me now is that I've got stars going across here and I've got stars going that way. There. Let me bring my top again. Let's pop it out because we're going to need it out anyway. Let's see how much of that we're going to see. Come on now, play the game. There we go. So obviously this is going to come over. I don't think you're going to notice it really at all. And I think I might go with the enjoy every little moment. Could be anything, for any sort of occasion, couldn't it? Then we've got these two sort of decent sized toppers there that will work quite nicely with the other parts of the kit. 
Okay, so let's start doing some assembling. So let's do the bottom piece first of all. Although we could turn it that way and then that would all make sense. Wouldn't it? I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll turn it that way. Um, and then, although I don't, look at me, I'm in an R in now. It would look better on the left, but I can't turn that one on the left. Sorry about this, guys. I am. I'm going to rotate around, even though it's not my favourite. It will match, which will make me feel slightly more comfortable about that. And to be honest, you're not going to see a lot of this. You're only going to see sort of half where the stopper is. So I don't know why I'm overthinking it. So apologies. Hopefully there. Hopefully it's only the white glue. there this one is going on top not doing any ribbon on this one so a little bit there a little bit there a little bit on those corners so let's turn that round as soon as we spent so long debating what side we were going to do it i'm oh, sorry guys okay there we go so happy ish with that And then again, same deal, same glues. Just got a string there. And there. Just going to pop that on, get that good press down. And it seems a pity to sort of. Uh, cover up the butterflies. You could always use again. You could use that insert paper or papers from your pads. Um, you know, one of your duo design pads, or even just plain adorable scoreable, maybe emboss with a butterfly um, embossing embossing um, boulder. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. Okay, so we've got our stripe matching up which makes me feel quite comfortable um, and then again i'm probably going to have to use my knife on this one Here's that one there. There. Probably not going to use this gold frame again because, again, you know, I've gone to all the trouble of getting this topper up in the air, so it's nice to see that bit of air between the layers. Um, I still want to use the um, the sort of scalloped border because that is a really pretty design feature. Oops. There we go. That's that one. Now, are you going to come out nice and easy? There we go. That's that one. So we've got two of those now. Okay, so again, we're just going to come in with that little emery board. Don't think there's that many pips on this one, or at least they're not as bad as the other one. That's okay. Yeah, those are fine. Okay, so I'm going to go with these, and oh, we'll use these ones, uh, one millimetre pads. These are the, uh, these are hunky-dory ones. So again, I need to remember not to go too high. 
because uh, obviously we don't want any foam pads to be showing here. So I'm just looking to see if there is a right and a wrong way. And I don't seem to be able to see it. We've got some flowers going there, we've got some coming down, we've got some flowers there going that way. Uh, it feels better on my eye that way. So let's just pop that on round about where we want it to be. And then we can put some pads on. These are quite long pads, these ones. And again, I'm going to put them, put quite a few on because this is going to be the only thing that's holding um, this piece of card to the actual card. So I want to put plenty of strength there for it. And I can take that bit off now. Mm -hmm. and then I can pop these off. And if you wanted to, you could uh, put a piece of something behind it, maybe turn this into a shaker card. I did make a really nice shaker card the other day, not on video. Um, it was with the Memorable Moments one. Um, and I did it with the gold stars, the Hunky Dory gold stars. And actually, I mean, I would say that's probably the best uh, shaker card that I've made ever in terms of how it was working, nothing was coming out. It was really very nice. I'm just going to pop that, it looks a little bit on the wonk. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then making sure my butterfly is the right way up. Okay, let's just put that on there so it stops popping quite so much. But once I've got one I'm probably going to go with some gold gems we'll see if we can get them to really pop on here uh, just putting some tacky glue on just to give me that little bit of wiggle room time and then I can pop this in I'm just going to go by my eye okay, we just go down a tiny little smidge if you struggle to get that straight in there, what you can do is just pop that in. Don't glue it if you don't want it in there. Um, and then it will give you this sort of approximate position where that needs to be. And then you can just pop it out. So you can use it as a sort of spacer block, really. But that's where we're at at the moment. So you can see it's looking pretty stunning. Uh, Mum would like that. Obviously, she liked her butterflies. Well, she's slightly obsessed with her butterflies, to be honest. She did like... To pop them on there, I think. Okay, so we probably want this to stand around about halfway, and that's going to be a really nice stopper for us. What I am going to do is let's try these one millimeter ones. I suspect I'm probably going to have to double them up. Let me just grab some more. So you might want to just go straight out of your two millimetres, just that you've got a nice big shelf for that to rest behind. But I think the one inch is one millimetre is going to do okay. Okay, so let's pop that there. I'm going to bring this in. No, it's upside down. Just to help me keep things straight. And like I said before, you know, this is not the be all and end all this ruler. It gives you an idea. Um, bear in mind it's going off the straightness of your card and not off the straightness straightness of your um, layers. So 
if your layers are a little on the wonk um, the sentiment may still appear on the wonk if you've um, if uh, yeah if the if the layers are on a if these are on the the wonk so obviously if you then come in and put this straight it's it's gonna let's pop that away let's have a look yeah I think that's okay let me just put that straight on the bottom of my mat and just checking that this is straight-ish it's nothing worse than something being on the wonk no, I think that's good I think we're good okay so we'll give that a press down and that's where we're at now okay so I did say I was going to come in with gold ones I don't know why these keep accumulating on there it's obviously me doing it but I don't remember doing it to be honest okay so I can pop the lid on this one because I'm not going to be using that until I put the insert in so we're just going to use our tacky glue I'm just going to wipe the nozzle because it just looks a little bit um, it was just a little bit of glue there so I'm going to put one on this side and I'm going to put two on this side um, so let's go for a medium size one there and then a sort of smaller one and a smaller again I think that looks good. There's no little bits on here. Okay, the only other thing I can think of, let me just grab one of my trays. So the other day when I was crafting, I did use that little, just got some rubbish in here for some reason. There's the band die. Um, yeah, I just used that little spellbinder butterfly die. And I did cut a couple of these little butterflies out. Just like rather than throwing it away, I just sat and did that. So there's a few in there if I need them. So what I'm going to do is just pop these on here, just to fill that space really. If you want to, you can go up there with it, but I'm just going to pop, let's see where do we want them to go. don't want them to be quite so dimensional because uh, obviously they're going to be squashed down by the the card above one in there and little one there okay if you want to you can put more gems up here really sort of tie that in i'm going to leave it at that less is more and all that sometimes i really struggle with less is more because to me more is more and extra is more <laughs> so uh, but there you go so that is that one finished with those you could put more butterflies on if you wanted um you could come in and emboss this again with the butterfly um embossing folder if you wanted to um, but i've kept it sort of quite easy for you know those people that don't have those sort of tools and have no wish to buy them so just those there so let me bring back my first card hopefully that bow should be stuck now yep that's stuck down quite nicely and those if i put them that way those are my two cards for today there's just one more page uh one more set on this and that's the i think it's got birthday cakes and one glasses on so I'm going to come back with that next time and then after that I'm going to do a couple of um, maybe two maybe three even we'll see um, cards from the little book just to give you a few ideas um, and then after that I'm going to go on to those decoupage dogs um, and make a couple of cards with the, with those kits um, but that's it for today thank you so much for watching hopefully you're having a great weekend with some ha um, crafting going on um, but until i see you again happy crafting take care bye bye